There is no one foolproof way to build a top line, but there are some exercises that are good for helping to build a foundation of muscle, especially when working with a green horse. Neither of my horses are perfectly muscled, they both still have a lot of weak areas to work on, but Milo in particular has gained a ton of muscle since he was first started under saddle, and these are some exercises that I use with both him and Archie as well as other horses that I've had in the past. I think that these are excellent for greener horses who are needing help to learn how to carry themselves properly and building the muscle to do so effectively. It is important to remember to only attempt exercises that your horse is personally ready for. Start easy and go slow. Young horses in particular will gain and lose muscle tone as they grow. Proper carriage can take a long time to develop. Don't try to rush it or take shortcuts. First things first, you can't expect your horse to build muscle without a good diet that fits their needs. Both my horses get grass and free choice local hay. Archie eats Fibermax year round and Milo only gets it when it's cold out. They both get soaked alfalfa cubes. Milo gets less. Both also get flax. It is very rich in omega-3. It promotes a healthy coat. Archie gets biotin. Milo was taken off of this as his feet were growing way too fast. It promotes hair and hoof health and growth. Archie also gets black oil sunflower seeds. They are rich in omega-6 and help with healthy coat and hooves and also help with weight gain. Milo gets this iron supplement. It has a ton of other vitamins and minerals in it. I put him on it because he's on a diet so gets very little grain and was needing some more energy and something to make up for the loss of grain. Archie gets cocoa soya. It is a fat supplement. It's soybean and coconut oil. For grain, Archie gets pro fat and a complete pellet. Sorry this is so dark, but for grain, Milo gets Rocky Mountain Crunch and oats with barley. Both Milo and Archie get charcoal. It's great for gut health and ulcer prevention. It also gives them a nice coat. Archie's quantity of dry grain is much higher than Milo's. The wet stuff gets added right before feed time. Before changing your horse's diet, always check with a professional if you're unsure. Okay, so next, if you want your horse to start learning how to work properly and start building top line muscle, make sure your tack fits. Your horse will not want to use their back properly if it's hurting them. Properly fitted equipment equals a happy horse. My saddle for Milo is a custom saddle from Barnes Tack Room. Also, to help maintain their back health, I get professionals to do massage and chiropractic work on my horses. My vet is also an acupuncturist and Milo has had that done before. I also recommend pulling the pad up into the pommel so that the horse's withers don't get rubbed while riding. Stretching the shoulder before riding prevents girth pinches and also is just a nice stretch for the horse even though Milo may beg to differ. Now for riding, you want your horse to be going forward and stretching into the bridle and not leaning. Even if they only hold the stretch for a stride or two, it's a start. A proper frame is like holding the plank with weights on. It can take a long while to get to the point where you can hold it for extended periods of time. This is why it can't be forced if the horse isn't muscularly ready to do so. I don't have footage of this, but spirals are an excellent way to help engage the hind end. Use leg yielding and rein aids to slowly push your horse in and out of a bigger than smaller circle. Transitions are also easy and an excellent way to help your horse build a top line. Do a lot each ride. They'll help your horse engage their hind end and also keep them aware and ready for different cues. The more you do, the better your horse will get at them. I like to do an exercise where I transition to trot for the short sides of the arena and canter for the long sides. I also do this with extending and collecting, or for walk to canter. You can change the complexity as your horse gets stronger. Walk to canter transitions are also great if your horse is ready to start doing them. Milo is just starting to get them down now. He used to rush into his transitions and get a bit flustered, but he has settled down a lot. Pole work is also great. The poles can be ground poles or raised, or even alternating between the two. Change up the complexity depending on your horse's experience level. Start with trot poles as canter poles require more thinking. If you jump, grid work is also good for building muscle as well as cardiovascular fitness. Complexity can range depending on your horse's experience level. Learning to stretch and relax into the bridle is so important for young and green horses. I try to start and finish my rides with a nice stretchy trot. It's great for stretching the back and teaching them to relax under saddle. Hill work is a great way to force your horse to engage their hind end. This is the only real hill that is on the property where I board, but it still works. Longer hills are better, but even a small incline will help you build a hind end muscle. 
Hacking out on differing terrain is also great for this. After a ride when my horse is still a bit warm, these are stretches I've been recommended by my horse's body workers to do. This first one is a cat scratch. You use your fingertips and press down firmly to get them to raise their back. Milo is used to this and does not kick, but use caution and check with a professional before attempting. Belly raises are also great for helping to strengthen the back. You want to get to the point where your horse can hold this for 30 seconds. Use your fingertips and press firmly on their sternum to get them to lift their back. Use caution and consult with a professional. Your horse could try to kick you. Carrot stretches are also great for flexibility and helping to develop a neck. They're the easiest to do if you use a carrot, but basically you're just getting your horse to follow a treat to stretch. Be careful, some horses are pretty stiff and won't be able to stretch far at all. Start slow and make sure the muscles are warm. These should be repeated daily for best results. Watch your fingers if your horse is nippy. Also, make sure to do even amounts of stretching on both sides unless your horse is significantly weaker on one. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This is just what has worked personally for me when I've been working with young and green horses. Obviously, you can use your own techniques and listen to the professionals in your life. These are just what I do and what has worked for my horses.